Uh, are you real concerned about uh, this global warming? I'm only concerned about the uh, incredible frenzy and hype for something that's a total myth. That concerns me a lot because uh, people are going hysterical about it. It's amazing to me how uh, upset so many people are and how many billions of dollars apparently our governments are going to spend of our tax dollars to combat something that isn't real. That has my attention, believe me. Uh, as a scientist, I know that global warming doesn't really exist at all in any sense of significance and that we have nothing to worry about. Now, are you saying that there hasn't even been any warming? Uh, of the well, there, there's absolutely natural climate fluctuations. Uh, we have uh, little ice ages. We have warm-ups. Uh, historically, the Earth has vacillated through all of these. Solar cycles change dramatically. O ocean currents change. And all of that has a significant impact on climate. And uh, the building of cities, the flying of airplanes, the existence of all these billions of people on Earth have all influenced the climate of Earth. But none of it is of significance. Uh, and thank goodness, things are doing just fine. So you're not in a panic over uh, the icebergs melting and the sea levels rising and... I promise you, 20 years from today, I'll be the one that's laughing. The icebergs, the ice caps at the poles are not going to melt. The oceans are not going to flood the coast. People are not going to die. We're not going to have global climate change that cuts off the food supply. We're not going to have thousands of species eliminated as they lose their habitat. None of these things is going to happen. Uh, the, the earth is going to, the climate is going to change with cycles of the sun and with ocean currents and we're all going to do just fine. But Al Gore has a very convincing uh, video out there that seems to show that uh, we're really facing a catastrophe. I'm very well aware of the hype. Uh, the media is full of it every day. Al Gore got the Nobel Peace Prize, an Oscar and a Grammy. Uh, and apparently millions of dollars. Uh, Al Gore, I believe, is sincere in his belief, but oh, so misguided, as is the entire UN IPCC, the Internet Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Well, that doesn't that uh, bring us to the point that Mr. Gore makes and many others that science has spoken. There is a universal consensus among scientists. Well, if you look at the history of the IPCC, it was formed by people whose agendas were of, of question. Uh, and uh, they really wanted to uh, get back at the industrialized nations and get them to pay penance to the third world nations for their pollution of the atmosphere through their industrial activities. It was the little guys picking on the big guys kind of concept, which is very common in the UN. Uh, and it was from people who had world government in mind. Uh, that history is pretty well documented by an engineer named Alan Cheatham. He has really dug into it. And uh, there's, that panel was, so you create this bureau within the UN on climate change. Well, its mission and its existence then is to prove that there's climate change. So it starts hiring scientists and giving them research money to go out and prove that its mission is valid, to prove its point. And all of this, and then it holds meetings and it does publicity and the whole thing just crescendos and builds. Now, was there a consensus of 2,500 scientists at the Bali meeting? Heavens, no. The key paragraphs or chapters of this report and the research documents behind it, which are very impressive, uh, are um, not anything that were widely read by these scientists. They were, uh, many of them, were political scientists, as it were, were scientists who have uh, uh, a political mission. Uh, there were representatives there from Greenpeace and the Sierra Club and from government ministries, in addition to some, some well-meaning scientists. But it appears that only about 25 scientists out of that 2,500 actually read and reviewed in a scientific manner, a peer review, the key chapter on radiative forcing by carbon dioxide 
causing climate change. So there was no huge consensus built up at, at the IPCC. And uh, there's almost more scientific consensus on the other side, where 19,000 scientists signed a petition against the Kyoto Protocol, where 400 plus scientists spoke out as skeptics on global warming in 2007, where uh, at least four dozen TV meteorologists have spoken out against global warming. Uh, this is, there's, there's no consensus. And to try to shut off the bait, debate is a, a political strategy. One of the great things about science is the debate that takes place. And the debate should never be shut off. It's my understanding that at Valley, uh, at the, in November of 2007, at the conference there, that quite a number of scientists who went there in order to, to uh, engage in debate there were not allowed to have uh, any kind of forum there. Uh, there were 100 scientists who wrote a letter of complaint at the meeting. Uh, that was one group that spoke up. And we have uh, documentation and, and statements and uh, papers uh, by any number of scientists who were on the IPCC panel, who were reviewers and had been with it for years, who shared in that Nobel Peace Prize, because the panel shared the prize with Al Gore, who shared in that prize, who say that this panel should be disbanded, should be, uh, that, that it is, it's a sham. Because a lot of the scientists who participated in the panel actually providing scientific input it was ignored. Where the, then later their, their scientific work was basically shoved aside. For oh, political. Oh, oh, they asked questions, they made comments, and essentially it was pushed aside, ignored. And uh, that is not the scientific process, obviously. Now, you were involved in uh, uh, the middle of your career in broadcasting 20, 30 years ago when uh, we were told in, in similar panic terms that we were going to face global uh, cooling and ice age. I was a TV weathercaster in Chicago uh, when uh, the head of the uh, Department of Meteorology at the University of Wisconsin announced the coming of an ice age. And Time Magazine came out with a picture of the skyscrapers of Chicago trapped in a huge glacier that was creeping down over the Midwest. And clearly, as a television meteorologist, uh, I was called upon, I was working for ABC at the time, I was called upon to report on this and to investigate it and to interview people and to, uh, and uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was there. Uh-huh. Yeah, and... Uh, the ice, you're still waiting for the ice cap. Uh, I never, I never believed it was coming, nor do I believe global warming is coming. And in fact, are you aware, and I'm sure some people seeing this are aware, that uh, officials of both the Canadian and Russian government in the past six weeks have warned of a coming ice age. 